I'm Peter Bigwood. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing with Brock Inc. We are celebrating our 40th anniversary uh, in business here at the World of Concrete. And that's 40 years of a, inventing the concept of a demolition robot and perfecting it, evolving it, improving it all through the years to the point where today we have uh, a whole range of demolition robots ranging from half a ton to 12 tons. The biggest thing that I think separates a demolition robot from other uh, excavators or, or skid steers or backhoes is that we start from the attachment. In most cases, a hammer, a hydraulic breaker. A hydraulic breaker is basically dumb. It only will do what what you provide to it in terms of oil flow, oil pressure, and then how much back pressure you're, you're uh, uh, putting on, uh, and then also how much force you're exerting on the work. A demolition robot is designed specifically to provide or to deliver the exact correct amount of oil flow, pressure, back pressure, and then apply the right force on the hammer as it's doing its work. So what that means is that a one-ton demolition robot equipped with a hydraulic breaker will outperform a traditional mini-excavator that might weigh three times more. And on top of that, the three-arm system that we have on our uh, demolition robots, and we've had for 40 years, um, means that the reach and the angles and the geometry that you can bring to bear with your arm and putting the hammer against the work is far superior to, uh, a, again, a traditional uh, two-part arm system that you would find on a backhoe or, or an excavator. Mini excavators or excavators are great at working downwards, but rock machines, demolition robots, are, used, are great for working against walls and reaching up and working overhead uh, in situations where, again, an operator doesn't want to be present. The operator of a demolition machine, a robot, can be 10 feet, 20, 30 feet away, out of harm's way, and can operate in environments which are dangerous, risky, or you know, confined space and that sort of thing.